My well, balance ain't no good, man. I'm standing on some stuff I shouldn't be standing on. Good morning. Hopefully we got an amazing blog today. The first ever blog from Jose at Diaga. Oh, hey. Well, I'm gonna make some coffee now. And then as soon as I make that coffee, I'm gonna get dressed. We're gonna head out to the Pike Marketplace today. I wanna do some cooking and I know there there's a store called the Spanish Table that has uh, a lot of ingredients that I really enjoy that come from Spain, from Miami, from certain parts of the world that are just not available here in Seattle. So I'm excited to go there and visit the folks there at the Spanish Table and hopefully pick up some goodies and start cooking today. First, let's get some coffee going, very important. Only the best. This is not the proper way to make Cuban coffee. This is just, uh, I'm in a fucking hurry. I need to get my coffee in my body. We will make Cuban coffee. Proper Cuban coffee. Not this. It's just espresso with sugar. Made very quickly. Oh, this is my favorite part. Hopefully it'll still do it. Yeah. We got ourselves some coffee. So yeah. This is kind of like my typical morning, kind of, sort of. I don't have any typical anything, but I get to clear my mind, I get to think about what I'm going to do today, what I'm going to cook. Here's to you guys. I think it's spring in about a week or so. And hopefully we start getting some leaves soon. pay the fare to get on the thing of my chicken before it leaves. Um Hi. uh one way twenty five. I got a bunch of quarters here so okay. <laughs> just twenty five and two. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of the train coming in. But I don't know. I'm walking out here, see if we can get the best shot possible. Seems like I can walk out here. I feel like I shouldn't be out here. But the fuck do I know? Here it is. Pepe Market at Lyra Station. This one and only stop for the trip. The S is latched two doors. Let's take the stairs. My favorite. Stairs is always free exercise, man, for like anybody. My name ain't Mike, but yeah, uh, I rock. You know why? Cause I don't give a fuck That's why it doesn't matter whether I'm cool or not Just the taste of the word gives me the gut rock It's not pop to just stop like a blood clot Cause we're here to blow up like we came from a rock Electronica and there's a hip hop Here to kick ass until a hot stop Hipsters put on their cool shades And thrifters keep the money they've been paid And drifters have nothing safe for buying lifters Don't give a damn what they say Wait, on the save 
unbelievable Shit, it's unbelievable You never ever guessed you'd hear this mix It's inconceivable Ouch, too hot, baby Back out of the kitchen This is glitchy love at one of us So daddy, quit your bitch I'm a poisonous affliction With a fireball addiction Man, it burns like hell And tastes like heaven You say ball addiction Now I got you campus itching This is music for your children If you never heard the cue before You don't know what you're missing Hey! change you <laughs> Spanish table, there we are. Look, mom, I need out, need out, need out, need out, bandido. Just the right sauce for this beat, but we don't. Ingredient list includes a four leaf clover with a dash from every day. We can cure your hangover. Hangover, cure your hangover, hangover, cure your 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 hangover. Hungover, close to done though. I come like Han Solo, gun to like GoPro. of a good thing. Thanks again. <laughs> bye bye. So that was fun. We're out of there now. With a bag full of goodies. And go home. Start cooking something. Yeah, that just happens. <laughs> so we got that. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut this open. We got the steaks. All right. Save that for one second. Move the bowl over here. And let's leave the uh, acorn squatch to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut an onion. Very easy, very simple. It's like, if Jose can cook, so can you. So, that's it. You got that, one. Again, I'm keeping it real here, you know what I mean? I'm not here, you know, with a little stunt knife or stunt equipment or stunt onion, you know? Look. We got a shitty fucking onion, man. So what are we gonna fucking do? This sucks because I wanted to do some rings, you know? But what are we gonna do? We can't waste food, you know? We know this ain't bad. You know, if you're home, you ain't gonna throw this away. So we'll just chop it off there. Mm, I don't know. Let's see, chop it off there. What do we got? What do we got? I think we're okay. So we'll use half an onion. But you know what? Maybe we can use the whole onion and this half onion. One second, let me go discard. Come here to the trash. This is a very bad first impression, but trust me. I'm just trying to keep it real. I was gonna clean up beforehand, but I was like, you know what? Nah. I'm human, we're all human, right? We're all in this together. 
You know, some of us are a little more messy than others is okay, you know? No big deal, you know? That's all, all right. So we got this half onion here. Let's not turn this whole 15 second ordeal into a half hour, three day ordeal. And we got that, trash, no good. Okay, let's wash off the knife real quick. Keep this handy right here. What we'll do is we'll just, you know, slice the onions. I like them a little thin, I like them to cook. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm making a Cuban steak sandwich. We all have steak sandwiches. Whatever culture you're in, wherever you're from, I'm sure you got some sort of variation of, uh, you know, cooking steak. I'm putting in between bread, some sort of meat between bread, or whatever, variation. So I'm just doing something I kind of grew up with. All right, let's not chop our fingers off here. You know, make sure we can use all of that. Let me see, I don't know. I think, I'm, let me see if I can find a small onion. All right, so let's uh, make some rings out of this one. Let's mix it up. But, well, you know, now when both onions are in there, marinating with the steak, they'll be like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me. What the bleep is going on here? You either caught it long ways, you caught it sideways. What's going on here? Right. Let's not chop our fingers off. By the way, another rule. If you can't cut it, don't cut it. So, right there, you saw I couldn't cut that no more. So, what I mean is like, oh, it's getting wobbly or it's moving and don't cut it because all you're gonna do is hurt yourself and cut yourself. So just, you know, just do what you can. That's it. That's the same rule of thumb. And try not to do everything I'm doing. Just, you know, use caution, of course, you're using sharp objects and knives and all that stuff. As we all know. Also, a sharp knife is your best friend. I will sharpen my knife ASAP because you are not being my best friend right now, buddy. <laughs> so now we put the onions in the bowl. We got tons of onions. And again, this can vary. You can just use half the onion, or a whole or an onion and a half, or a variation. It doesn't matter. This is to your taste, to your liking, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here. All right, now we got, wipe it up. Now we got the garlic. There you go, we'll do that, we we'll do this. All right, let's see how much we got. What do we get with the prize? How many we get, how many we get? We got, all well, that stuff. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I might, I might use them all, maybe not, I don't know. So, smash. Smash good, smash. Arr. Angry. Oh no, come back. That would have not, not been good if it fell in the little crevice there. Smash. Smash. And then we got these limes. Well, hold on, let's finish the garlic. Right, one thing at a time. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. And we got the garlic there, you see. Choppy, chop, chop, let's try it again. One of them. Leave it a little chunky, it's okay. You can chop it fine as hell. You can add garlic, not add garlic. You do whatever you want, okay? I'm just making what I'm making for dinner, okay? That's it, all right? And chop these up. We might need three, but you know, whatever. Like that, like that. For the marinade, you will ask enough a knife. Okay, so now, Come with me real quick before I forget. First of all, we'll need the salt, which is down there, right? Okay, bam. We'll need, this is some special seasoning that comes from home. Um, we'll use this for now, but I'm trying to get away from this uh, stuff. MSG, even though MSG is good and yummy and tasty and no, it's not gonna kill you. Um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna try and not uh, let not use that. Okay, so we got some ground black pepper. I don't know, clean a little liquid, whatever that was. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do now. We got the nine of the steaks. Okay, so we got one steak. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that there. And so let's just season it. Some of this stuff. Some of this stuff, you know. I get this shit imported, man. 
It's good stuff. Tell you. Oh yes, okay, hold on. Now we get the pepper. So what we'll do is, uh, you know, now we'll squeeze the limes in there. Mm -hmm. And that's it, it shouldn't be too hard from there. I mean, you know, just an average steak sandwich, right? With uh, some french fries and uh, that's it. So, all right, so let's let these marinate for a little bit. Yeah, great footage of Ben, huh? We added some extra onions. So what we're gonna do now is get those started and cook those off. We put some oil up in this some a bitch. Get this onions in there. Trust me, as long as you make it with love, people are gonna love it, okay? No matter what. Wish you could smell this, it's incredible. So right now I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna let this car caramelize for a little bit. I'm gonna cook down, I'm gonna sweat. I'm gonna low. the spread up in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a high heat Okay, so now we're gonna just remove the onions. Add some really good stuff. A little bit of oil. We got smoky, smoky. Let's turn the fan on real quick. So now we got it nice and hot. Um, there we go. That's what you want. You want some sort of sizzle. Uh, it's okay, they're thin. Don't worry. Whatever, close them. Uh, there you go. Like that. So they cook very quickly. Um, you can cook them however you want, whatever temperature you want. Okay, now, dilemma right here. See, these are the liquids from, so what we can do is that we can just remove the steaks for a minute right here, because we don't want to boil them. But that's also like awesomeness and goodness, okay? So, as you can see, it's reducing. It's not going to take too long. Reduce. Now that's flavor. You got that. There you go. Okay, look at that. You scrape all that stuff from the bottom. So, I'm going to pull out the 
I've met just like in the restaurants. This is like another professional five star restaurants, the five Michelin, four Michelin star, whatever the fuck. It's exactly what we use. We got the bread. God, these oven mitts suck because it's hot. They came with a apartment. Throw them in the fucking trash, but. Anyway. All right, now we got that going. It's gonna be awesome. That's it, and all, all I'm doing is that I'm using the, I'm literally using the steaks as, um, to clean the pan, you know? You see? I said I should turn this off before I burn it. With cleaning the pans, cleaning the pans with the steaks. Yes, I am making it yummy. Cleaning the pans. That's it. And again, you know, there's a fine line between burnt and, you know, that. So, we got that. Okay, we're done. Take it off the heat. Let's uh, assemble the sandwich. So now we're gonna make the sandwich real quick. It's gonna make it how I'm gonna make it for myself, you know? Jose style. This ain't no authentic, you know, steak sandwich, right? This is just one Cuban's version from Hialeah. It moved all the way up here. This version of a steak sandwich, okay? That's it. It's just in there, just trying to, you know, salvage uh, the ketchup all right so now. Got that. What we're gonna do here, a little interesting uh, situation here. You got one steak. We'll pop that sucker right there. So we can layer these onions, you know, because we got a lot. It's a messy sandwich, but it's freaking awesome. Let's get the most important thing. I forgot these little things right here. So we're gonna put these suckers on there. Hell yeah. Look at that, where the hell that guy gonna come from? All right. Now we put this guy on here. Whoop. Whoop. See, there's a una delicadez, you know, to this. You gotta be, you gotta use your finesse to make this. All right, that'll do that, that'll do it. Got that going. The more potato chips, you know? Why not? The delicious, you know? Put them here so it'll stick to that. Put them there. And I'm there. I was just blocking the camera there, like a dumbass. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, anyway, you know, hopefully it wasn't blocking it too much. So, get this out of the way. That there. Okay. All right. That was loud. There's I know what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut this like that, very easy. Easy peasy, I think we had it backwards. Whatever, all right. So, that's it. Look, see, like it's all professional and shit. You know what I mean? Look at that, ta-da! Anyone can do this, all right? Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, this, I mean, that's how we do it in the, in the restaurant, so. Let's see. You got the french fries. The French, the French potatoes. Let me pop these here. Okay, can we get a steak sandwich, please? And then, you know, in later episodes, I'll have all this other crap, you know, like juju juice and stuff, you know, to make it look pretty, but if I want, you know, whatever, we'll figure it out. But that's a steak sandwich. That's how we do it, all right? I'm sure you guys want me to take a bite, so. You know? Mmm. Mmm. Hot.
Oh my god. So minute. I'm gonna do that shit again. Oh my god. I don't even wanna stop eating to turn off the cameras. But, oh wait, this finger is still not dirty. I got it out. This one too.